What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Chucky Season 2 Episode 3 in this video here today. Chucky Season 2 Episode 3 is honestly my favorite so far out of the four that I've seen. I know I got many of you asking me what my favorite episode has been so far. My favorite has been Episode 3. Episode 3 gave us a introduction to the bigger mystery at large as it, as it pertains to so far anyway as, as it relates to a character named the Colonel who is I guess the one that's getting the pictures that the chucky that's at the incarnate lord have been reporting pictures to so we'll find out who that person is i guess over the course of the season my prediction so far is that this is another variant of chucky but episode three starts with jake being questioned by father bryce regarding the whereabouts of chucky he wants jake to know what it's like to confess under freedom so he hasn't had anyone go search for the doll as he waits for jake to choose the right path jake goes back to his room after this to regroup with lexi nadine and devin lexi looked through chucky's phone and all she found was someone named the colonel they ungag chucky and start torturing him for info but chucky just enjoys this jake asks how many dolls are there and chucky says if you're gonna pull my hair at least say i'm pretty after class jake chats with one of the nuns who ask about devin who is sick she tells jake she's always here to talk if he wants to because she believes jake is living with guilt about his foster brothers about his foster brother gary dying um, in the hall, Trevor catches Lexi using drugs and taunts her by saying students aren't allowed to have their own medicine. Trevor reveals Michelle lost her re-election and says Lexi should be careful using drugs or she could end up stuck end up stuck here till sh till she's 18 like trevor is so this gives you a little bit more context as to, as it pertains to the tension between these two and that rivalry i guess that's been going on ever since going back as far as when trevor was bullying lexi so we then jump to devin who is shown is shown in his room with a chucky doll gagged on the socks gagging on socks so devin pulls it out and chucky starts taunting devin about not having what it takes to kill and chucky says devin can't f with him Nadine goes to make a confession, but the father has to go. But Nadine is consumed with having her soul cleansed by confessing her sins. The father finds an excuse to just walk out on Nadine at this instance. Devin and Jake talk about reprogramming Chucky's brain to make him talk. Jake goes to get Lexi and Nadine. Later in the night, Lexi and Nadine go to the boys' room. They start doing different techniques to reprogram Chucky, so he starts talking to them. The next morning, Jake asks questions again after Chucky agrees. Chucky is acting all nice, and Devin isn't falling for it, as he says, so he leaves the room after this. Nadine stays behind to watch the doll. Jake catches up with Devin and talks to him about the guilt he feels. Father Bryce catches Devin and Jake kissing. Lexi goes to Sister Ruth's room to ask for an aspirin since she has a headache. Trevor continues taunting Lexi and says she needs to learn that he is her higher power and she should learn that quickly, I guess. Lexi snaps at him and tells him she's sorry for her part in sending him here, but he doesn't have to act like that. She notices a nun is around and starts saying, like Lexi starts saying this. She says it real loud. No, I don't know where you can get condoms. She again says that very loud so a nun can hear and start disciplining Trevor, basically so Trevor can get the hell away from her. We then are shown another package arriving at the school. Father Bryce talks to Devin when he catches him trying to leave for the night and invites him to the chapel. Jake and Lexi go back to the room with Nadine and a Chucky doll. Jake gives Chucky a apple. Lexi sticks around to watch the doll while Jake and Nadine leave. Jake finds Devin in the chapel doing his chores, doing his chores from Father Bryce. In the room, Chucky asks Lexi fun personal questions. Lexi gets up and leaves once her anxiety kicks in. Nadine goes to make a confession to the father. Her confession relates to Lexi being addicted to drugs and she wishes Trevor had to sneeze a lot cause she seems to be a big fan of Lexi and she wants the best for Lexi. She also says that Chucky is alive. And while this is going on, Chucky kills the father by strangling him. Chucky starts pretending to be, pretending to be the father by talking to Nadine. Uh, Lexi is then shown having an anxiety attack while Nadine walks back to her room saying Hail Marys. She gets back and notices Chucky is gone from the room. Father Bryce has a meeting with one of the nuns, Sister Catherine, but Jake interrupts saying Devin doesn't deserve this punishment. Nadine finds Lexi in the bathroom dealing with her depression. Lexi admits she's drowning on the inside even though she looks fine on the outside. Nadine comforts her during this time. I loved this segment in particular mostly because this gave you a glimpse at who or how Lexi is feeling on the inside even though you might not be seeing it seeing her wear it so much 
on the outside because Olivia in this moment is just acting her ass off. Olivia is being given so much great material this time around as it pertains to Lexi that the character is a lot more compelling and her talent is shining through a lot stronger here this season as well to the point where again we're having so many layers further peeled back from Lexi and Lexi is just a overall more compelling character as compared to where we first met her in season one. Father Bryce goes to see Devin in the chapel to tell him Jake returned the doll even though we know that's not true and the doll went there on its own. Trevor is shown sneaking around and goes to Lexi's room. Trevor puts weed in the room but is killed by what I'll call a super like Hulk smash version of Chucky. Lexi and Aideen find Trevor's body and the boys come in to see to talk about Chucky being the culprit behind this. Lexi and Nadine try to tidy up while Sister Ruth comes to do an inspection. Now, this inspection came out of nowhere. It was a completely out of nowhere inspection after they had just discovered Trevor's body. So they're trying to clean stuff up. Now, during this, I was hoping they would at least get caught. Now, of course, also the other side of me is like, I like these characters. And I don't want them to get in any more trouble. But there's so much tension I felt during this moment where I'm like, if they had gotten caught, that would have made for a better cliffhanger than I think the cliffhanger we actually got. If you ended this ended this episode with them getting caught and Trevor's body being in the room during an inspection like this, I think that could have taken us in some very unique directions going forward into episodes four, five, six, seven, eight. But uh Sister Ruth ultimately doesn't find anything. They're acting weird during the whole interaction, which I thought was another thing. Like well, you don't find that they're behaving funny don't, don't want to look a little bit harder <laughs> so she leaves Devin and Jake follow after this because they were hiding in the room so it's safe for them to leave now too and then the episode actually just ends up ending with a Chucky doll being shown in the study singing before the Super Hulk Chucky walks in uh this is the one that killed Trevor walks in on that uh, that Chucky doll in the study bragging about a cheat day and then the episode ends now episode three again is my favorite it introduces that question mark of who is the colonel makes me a little bit more intrigued about these pictures that this doll has been taking at the campus makes me curious about how much of this was planned is there someone else working with Chucky that got these kids sent to incarnate lord um Episode four is going to be more Tiffany centric. So if you're someone who's looking for like some context on some of the events that went on after Cedar Chucky catching up with Glenn and Glenda and Nika, episode four is going to be for you. It is very much more on the humorous side of things. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description. I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video